So this morning, as I was scrolling through the websites I usually scroll through to find, you know, the stuff that I react to, I couldn't get past what's happening in the world right now. And I'm not actually going to say the word of it because we're not actually sure where it lies with demonetization and stuff like that. So let's call it the beer. What's happening right now with the beer. So obviously the beer is not a joke. I think everyone should stay home and take the beer seriously, despite the fact that I'm calling it a beer. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sending mixed signals right now. Essentially, we're here today to just lift the spirits about self-quarantining and self-isolation and social distancing just so we can have a little bit of a giggle you and me i literally have never spoken about current events and i just i feel like it's not going anywhere so i may as well talk about it <sighs> tastes like self-isolation thank you for coming Chin -chin. i genuinely Chin -chin. thought Chin -chin. he was having Chin -chin. like a Chin -chin. moment Chin -chin. with his mates Chin -chin. It's like Chin -chin. thank you for coming Chin -chin. thank you for coming yeah, ilsa and i have been doing this a lot lately because obviously we're in the house together we're just you know probably gonna get sick of each other eventually me telling my future children about what being quarantined was like i laughed i cried a number of times i sweat i danced i got a shot i ate and i had many epiphanies <laughs> I got to appreciate people trying to make other people smile. It's nice. It is nice. Class of 2020's grad ceremony being held via Skype. Bless them. All with their little graduation caps on. They're doing the best they can. Nurse. So you've been in a coma since February. Me. Oh boy. I can't wait to go outside and attend large social gatherings. I don't know why I found this one so funny. Just like, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, a person per four square meter currently here in Australia. Four square meter per person, guys. There ain't no large social gatherings happening for a minute. But well, aren't you in for a surprise? Okay, so let's not forget that Rapunzel was quarantined and met her future husband. So let's try and think positively here. I'm not even joking. I genuinely thought this when I was driving to the office today. I was like, hey, imagine in this, say, six months that we're about to embark on, the entire world is about to embark on, I was meant to meet the man of my my future, my, my life, guys. And now I'm never going to meet him because I can't leave the house. <laughs> but in all seriousness, obviously we are just making jokes and making this a little bit lighthearted. There is so many serious things going on right now that we do need to pay attention to. I'm not trying to stray from that. I just am trying to have a little laugh, you know, trying to lift everyone's spirits. She was quarantined for 18 years. What? Bruh, are we looking at the same sh right now? Are you kidding me? Town that Rapunzel lived in was... Cr I can't even say that was beer. The name of the kingdom was beer, guys. You know, the beer that we were talking about, the beer that... <sighs> My mind is blown. Hashtag throwback Thursday. Do you guys remember a time when toilet paper was full of stock? Take me back. Luckily, when we moved here into the office, we kind of had a good stock of toilet paper. So we, we chilling for the moment. But like, guys, I don't know if laser beams explain this to you guys more than once. If water's still running, just have a shower. You'll be fine. Use newspaper like they did back in the olden days. Everything's gonna be okay, all right? I don't know why toilet paper was the first thing that they went for. I am so confused. Who started that? There was not one point in my mind where we was like, I think we should stock up on toilet paper. It's like, how are you gonna wipe your ass when you starve to death? Maybe grab some food while you're there. Dabble in some canned food, maybe some pasta. Toilet paper though, like people are fighting over toilet paper and walking out with just toilet paper. What about food? How are we... I've got so many questions, I swear to God. So Bay says, come over. Me, can't, in self-isolation. Bay, but my parents aren't home. It's like, bitch. Oh, well, they should be. Call them up right now and say, get the f home. What is you doing? I just love the stock photo as well. Like you've got all the little stock images on it. I am a sucker for memes, dude. I can't help it. Dad, why is my sister's name Paris? Because we conceived her in Paris. Oh, how romantic. Wow, thanks, dad. No problem, quarantine. <laughs> Sorry, despite the fact that I'm 25 this year, I am still a child. Like, no problem, quarantine. Do you get it? Because cause, cause they banged in... I... They banged in quarantine. So my dog isn't used to me being home during the day and is just staring at me from different places around the house. He's like, what are you doing here? You said you were leaving at nine. You usually leave at nine. This is John, you're usually at work at this time. Get out, get out. I've got things to do. I've got people to see, deals to make. I am genuinely wondering what your dog's been doing at home when you're at work. Day one of quarantine. I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to improve my health. Legit me and Ilsa. Day two of quarantine. Due to personal reasons, I'm eating a lasagna in my shower. Mood. Big fat. 
fucking mood. <laughs> so previously you'd cough to cover a fart, but now you fart to cover a cough. Legit, you cannot go to the shopping center to gather your groceries, even though the shelves are empty, you cough out. It's like, get, get out now. People look at you like you are literally the devil. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not innocent in this, but hey, imagine just dropping a big fart in order to cover a cough during this terrible, terrible time. I can't, I just can't. That old school Taylor Swift video clip and she's like, you okay? It's like, no bitch, I wanna leave. I mean, in saying this, we don't really leave the office or our homes. We kind of have always gone back and forth. So uh, I don't know whether that's sad or good in this situation. I think the thing that people are really struggling with is the fact that they physically can't leave. Like they are being told to stay inside. And it's like that rebellious mindset of like, well, I've always stayed inside, but now that I have to stay inside, I wanna go outside. See, I can't relate to the ones of people just chilling at home doing nothing because we're still in full swing here, guys. We're still working. We're just taking the necessary precautions between coming here and home. We're doing everything that we can. And it's just like this person tweeted and goes, I slept 14 hours last night, absolutely locked and and loaded for a big day of hand washing and looking out the window. It's like, I'm very fortunate that we can still work and make videos for you guys, but also like, I wouldn't mind just like taking a couple days to chill. I love how I've seen all the tweets where people are like, this is your time to write a book, start a podcast, get healthy, get fit. And then there's the other side where it's just like, dude, you work hard, sit back, relax, enjoy it. It's an unfortunate situation, but take it as it is, a day at a time. Like so many different views. I don't know, it's 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 a weird time. It's just a picture of one of those like pasta spoons. Have you, I don't know why I find these ones so funny. It's like, well, old girl, you're about to have the busiest month of your life. I will say with the self quarantining and the isolation and stuff like that, we have literally been cooking every meal at home. I feel like I'm, I'm a new person. I'm feeling, you know, very housewife despite the fact that I am not married to anyone, but I feel like a housewife, okay? A bar in my neighborhood is delivering entire liters of their pre-mixed margaritas for $25 and you get a complimentary roll of toilet paper with your purchase. And it's really starting to feel like there are no rules anymore. I remember Ilsa and I had a conversation with Landon at one point and we said, oh, should we get some money out? And he goes, don't worry guys. We'll be trading bottle caps soon. <laughs> All right, dude, this was months ago. I'm like, Lennon predicted the future. He quite literally predicted the future. I just wanna say, we are so, so lucky to be living in a world where we have video calls, FaceTime, Twitter, Messenger, we've got VR. It's like, congratulations class of 2020. Man's dressed up in his entire graduation suit wearing a VR headset. Cause seriously, like we don't know how long this is gonna go for. There quite literally might not be graduations this year. We have literally no idea what the rest of 2020 has to offer. This could quite literally be exactly what happens. In an unsettling reversal of my teenage years, I'm now yelling at my parents for going out. This is the biggest mood that I've ever heard in my entire life. Landon and I have been screaming at my parents being like, stay home, you gotta be safe. It's like, how did this happen? When did this happen? Unsettling reversal of my teenage years. Back in the day, it was like tenner, you're home by nine, you stay safe, come home. And now it's the other way around. I'm like, mom, where are you? Are you at home? You better be home. I swear to God, wash your hands, wash your hands. When all of this stuff started going down, we all kind of said to each other at our Discord, wow, this is uh, not really gonna be much different to our normal life because as YouTubers and editors and people that work in this industry, yeah, listen, we're, it's a lot of sitting inside and not seeing sunlight. Look at how pasty I am. But on a serious note to finish it off, guys, this is serious. Wash your hands, stay inside if you can, be supportive, you know, call your grandparents, talk to them, be safe. I am not educated enough on the situation to comment too much. Listen, I just came here today to have a little bit of a laugh, a little bit of a lighthearted laugh. Stay safe, stay inside. I'll see you guys next time. Yeet.